Did, yeah. did you also jump yeah. into DevNet Associate first, or you directly uh, continued I with the DevNet? I, my, com- my uh, company uh, gave me training on DevNet. Uh, CCNA, DevNet, and DevCore, uh, but I just did the uh, DevCore for uh, DevNet certification. I never tried in. Okay. So you didn't you didn't sit for the associate level certification, yes. but yeah. you directly already, sat for the DevNet Core exam. In my company, I have three servers. Uh, I mean, each region I have a big automation setup. I had complete access, but still, uh, in companies we can't do anything ma- much practice. Right? We can't do whatever things, but but your lab it was too fast. Uh, easily accessible via browser uh, and we can uh, we had uh, seven to eight nexus we can add seven to eight nexus which is do whatever we, we can do we had the aca that is too costly but uh, <laughs> even some companies don't provide we can do you gave complete access to aci all the rest apis so it, it, the lab was in, impressive so. hey anand uh, how are you doing today Yes, fine. Uh, so I just completed and, my say, DevNet, yeah, yesterday. Uh, so in total, mm-hmm. I have seven years experience. Three years I was with HCL and three years uh, I was with Ingram Micro. Uh, mm-hmm. From from my second year of my career, I started doing this on network automation. So I had a few experience on it. Uh, but uh, from, even the st- even after. St- uh, doing that, I was not very clear initially. So doing lots of practice, and uh, I, I I got Dave Core initially, uh, but still I I want to get the CCID DevNet. So it, but uh, there are lots of resources. I, I just need a guidance. So uh, before your CCID DevNet, I used to follow you. Uh, oh, okay. How your how is done? Because uh, I'm also in the path, so I have to decide a way to start on it someone who already has been doing this yeah yes, but but yes, before yes. jumping right right over there so uh, you said that you you belong to a core network engineering background yes, yes. right and yeah. and so tell tell us yeah. more the about first, what your experience yeah. has been in, so far in HCL yeah. technologies so i worked in one um, hospital project uh mm-hmm. networking projects there was no network automation that time so uh during one outage that was the first time i just uh noted this uh, there is some uh, automation that we can do. The, we had 360 interfaces that was down. So I, I know Python at that time. So I studied. So I used NetMiko to uh, shut and unshut all the interface. So that was the first time I used network automation. Then uh, my company has a lot of requirement after that, based on the task that I did. They, they, they said, uh, whatever you can uh, do automatically, uh, you can help the team, something like that. So they gave me one server and so I just used that and learned a lot during that time. After three years, I, but the main role is network engineer role, but uh, I just made myself comfortable with automation, uh, doing lots of hand works. I could finish most of the things sooner. Did you have any prior experience with programmability from your college background, like using coding Uh, and all that? Not completely, just Python, just the, uh, mm. Normal basic Python. How I I know how to handle it. I can read it. I, I can understand the, those things, but not. I couldn't uh, straight away write a comp. Understand what 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 they are doing. So something like that. That that much experience I had, but mm. going. Uh, uh, I just learned from doing it manually and just practicing it and seeing the modules libraries. Uh, I just, yeah. after that I uh, I didn't. Uh, made the network automation as a core uh, skill in my network uh, resume, but it was just a part of the resume. And next, in the next company, I, I joined the core network engineering part, but still mm-hmm. uh, after six months, the same requirement came uh, for firewalls, uh, 300 firewalls, they have to config. So during that time, I just used uh, uh, the learning. I just had pull script and push script uh, and mm-hmm. Python. Not much than that. Let me go parameter. Apart from that, I don't know much during that time. And I, I know some some of the Meraki APIs, SD1 APIs. But uh, mm-hmm. do, uh, with this, I just thought of uh, starting my uh, DevNet journey, but uh, the syllabus is too vast. Uh, my knowledge is just yeah. one section. Yeah, <laughs> just one so section. Did you, did you also jump into DevNet Associate first, or you directly uh, continued with I, the I, DevNet? I, my company uh, company uh, gave me training on DevNet. 
ஆசிசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசியாசிய
I guess it's, not, it's not that much about convincing you. It's it's more about Thank how you. how confident you can feel uh, to associate yes, with us yes, because you are investing your hard earned money and the amount is not yes. that small. So people uh, in this part of the world still needs to think and and think twice or thrice uh, yes. before investing such amount of money. So yes. it is the trust that you need to put in us, uh, and we need to live up to that particular trust so that uh, we can say. Uh, passion is or aspirants like you can actually invest with us and then uh, we can be part of their journey. Yes, but I, uh, instead of just clearing, because even I have one not done, but I, I just want to master this because I know overall uh, yeah. things of it, but I have to have some. the main thing that I want is the experience of uh, using that. So I just don't need, uh, I mean, uh, a theory kind of a thing. I just don't. Yeah. yeah, he also said some aside about something about that, like I will be having a dedicated 24 bar sound lab so i think no other institution provided i believe every institution has give gives us about two to three hours every day uh, mm -hmm. so it is very minimal but nitish said i will be getting 24 bar sound lab till uh, i clear the exam uh, That's correct. and then the every course duration that you have signed up for i guess you, you signed up for a weekend course and uh, yeah. that that spanned for about i guess approximately six months and oh, then yeah. For, yeah, six, for the seven. entire uh, duration, uh, the lab access has always been with yes. you, twenty four seven. I know, I know. Yes, I don't know how how, <laughs> how we can afford for it. Uh, <laughs> even uh, because I, I work in night shift, afternoon shift, morning shift. Whenever I get, I get time, I just log in. It will log in. That is the thing. So if if I couldn't log in, uh, I will just message in Telegram. They will write away a reply. I don't know how uh, Pinet Labs do this, but. <laughs> I, I think no one. That's uh, our number one uh, motivation. So learners like you definitely uh, look look forward for the lab access yes. whenever because the thing that I do teach in my training is not uh, normal routing and switching, and it's completely new for core network engineers. And they they definitely face a lot of situations in their daily jobs where automation can be a deal breaker for them. And if they see and learn something new, they would be eager to uh, test by with with or get their hands dirty. And if, if we can provide a, a platform uh, by by using which they can actually practice, that uh, that's where that's what keeps us going. So we we keep it always up and running for for you guys. In my company, I have three servers. Uh, I mean, each region I have a big automation setup. I had complete access, but still. Uh, in companies, we can't do anything ma much practice. Right? We can't do whatever things. But but your lab, it was too fast, uh, easily accessible via browser. Uh, and we can uh, we had uh, seven to eight nexus. We can add seven to eight nexus switches. Do whatever we we can do. We had ACI that is too costly. But uh, <laughs> even some companies don't provide. We can do. You gave complete access to ACI, all the REST APIs. So uh, the lab was in impressive. So that is the nice. part. Nitish can feel and, and how was your uh, class experiences uh, when when you yes. signed up? I, I see and I appreciate you cons consistently attending all the classes that I've delivered. And I'm constantly seeing you asking questions and then also raising queries in the Telegram. So this way, I, I guess, I mean, right now I have delivered uh, trainings to almost 60 to 70 participants. And um, when when I do deliver training, being an instructor, I do observe that who has the capability uh, and who carries that passion to sit for the exam and, and get the hashtag. So yes. you were one of the participants I had in my list that this guy will definitely crack it. So um, I really appreciate you uh, consistently putting your efforts and dedication to attending all the classes and being active throughout. And that that entire dedication and journey itself has been the number one reason for you to be able to crack that. What do you think about all those class? It class was experience? very smooth, sir. Uh, you you explained very clearly in the first class what syllabus we will be covering, and each day I just strike. If I strike out one thing in a syllabus at the end of the class, I I it come in the syllabus was completely striked out. You you covered everything. I always confident. Uh, the, after your after your class, I will use to log in into the servers whenever I got time. I do all the tasks. So that is the confident part. Uh, you, you explained everything. You gave me uh, all the steps, installation steps. Everything was provided. I just copy pasted it. But still, uh, that uh, they gave me a lot of experiments. I mean, experience. The way you teach it was very clear. Uh, even nice. uh, someone who don't know Python, you can 
uh, easily mm-hmm. come around. Yeah. Uh, That's I guess the this... number one uh, reason for me to keep it from the baseline because uh, there are many people who signs up for our training. And uh, although the certification level that that you guys are uh, sitting for is an expert level certification, it's not an associate level certification, but I still see aspirants signing up directly for the core or professional and expert level certification courses. So when I, if you remember, we we do take that uh, initial introduction of everyone who has signed yes, up on our yes. very first day. So that's my observation point. I, I try to observe that who have joined and signed up for this particular training. And I try to set a baseline that, okay, we have people with zero experience. We have people with 50% experience. And then we also have people who are good with automation. But then I need to decide that we need, we, I need to bring everyone on the same page and then keep the baseline or uh, scratch the surface from the uh, yes. basics. If the fundamentals are pretty good, that's something that we focus on in the dev code training. Then you can uh, you can you can grab the technical stack that we cover in the expert level training. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that that has always worked out. I mean, so far you're I guess the fifth or sixth guy who have cracked the certification from the number of guys who have attempted so far. And uh, everyone have highlighted that the approach that I keep for the uh, for making the fundamentals clear have always helped them catch uh, and grab the entire thing at the end. After every Saturday, Sunday, uh, after uh, every your class, so the, I, I have the whole week. So I just yeah. do whatever things uh, mentioned in the video. Uh, you, uh, the main thing is no institution provide the videos, a lifetime <laughs> access to the videos. Like so whenever I have all the recorded classes. All the recorded. I just uh, that is also a benefit. Uh, whenever I I got chance, I just referred those things. I made myself clear. Uh, I, I never missed your class. It it almost 150, 160, uh, 32 weeks. Uh, to uh, yeah. Saturdays. So that is too much. Uh, I, I, I dedicatedly followed everything. Uh, uh, I think uh, in 26, 27 week, you, you, uh, it was completely covered. But still, you went on and moved it. Move yeah, to New York some, some classes. Yeah. everything you covered uh, I assigned I mean uh, I joined on January uh, the syllabus was changed I mean the syllabus change was mentioned on uh, somewhere around April but still May uh, and you, or May and or something like that yes. May, yeah but still you uh, to cover uh, yeah, I, I try to integrate the new topics uh, in our training and uh, that has definitely helped uh, everyone else also to get the exposure to so even if you guys uh, don't attempt the exam before august you still have everything covered um, and you have you can feel confident about attempting for the new exam uh, that's going to roll out yeah that's great I, I i also read your linkedin post uh, where you highlighted that about your exp- about your first attempt you also yes. had some hiccups yeah. with the lab experience tell us more about that how was your experience um, so i i have a voucher sir i i, I already tell, told that i had a voucher i applied for the exam i booked the exam i was very clear uh, on uh, how to face this but still uh, it is my first cca I, I, I never, I have never seen oh, yeah. anything. You never sat for any uh, yes. expert level exam. Yes. This was your first yes. CCI first exam. Season. It was very okay. special, special for me. Uh, but uh, in the back of my mind, I know I just had one, one option, one, one opportunity right now, one voucher in my hand. So I have to try give my full uh, in this first attempt itself. But even after all my preparation, that uh, first attempt it is a. Uh, great experience so uh, it is totally new you we will never imagine how the labs would be so eight hours yeah. lab too much cameras uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get overwhelmed with that particular yes, experience you need to sit at, at, a, at one chair for eight hours and then yes. constantly think about uh, whether you're doing correct or whether you're doing wrong you need you read every single line that you see in front of you <laughs> so initially that is that was too much for me my only uh, mistake that I did in my first attempt is I didn't uh, sit for eight hours. So uh, mm-hmm. that that's important as well, that that's you don't very, hurry too well. We, we, are, we, we are giving $1,600 just for those eight hours. There's, oh, there is no need that. to... Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we just no need to uh, hurry up on things. I had eight hours, but still... Uh, I had another uh, CCA who was writing beside me. Uh, he was very mm-hmm. fast. So I just... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, okay. I just followed him. 
uh, something like that uh, doing fastly mm -hmm. so that hurry that we don't need we have to very mm -hmm. it, it gives you a fear of missing out that yes. you, are you are you uh, running late you should you should hurry up the the sound yes. in the silent room <laughs> of the keyboard tick 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 yeah that is very very uh, too much distraction the keyboard sound it is the uh, main distraction for me <laughs> even uh, even for known questions I, i couldn't concentrate clearly in my first attempt due to the hurry uh, and the setup that uh, that is that is that i'm first seeing the uh, they said i couldn't take the watch uh, with me so those basic, uh, because in my mind i plan i will be going at 8:30 something like that but Uh, in the exam hall, they just gave me a clock of eight hours, which is going backwards. Uh, so I don't know what time it is. I every time I have to go turn back and see the time uh, clock. So th that is uh, quite different. Yeah. Uh, I, I was I was well prepared, but uh, lot lot of distractions. Yeah. But then we also we also looked at the score report that you got after your first yes. attempt. You did pretty well. You were you were you were close enough. Uh, definitely, some of the things might have. uh given you hiccups but then yeah you were pretty close you did wonderful job on your first attempt and then uh, how long did you wait before attempting for the second attempt if i did uh, so the other mistake that i did is i i booked at uh, the 10th of uh, may uh, mm -hmm. it is a friday uh, in mm -hmm. india unfortunately first two weeks they are conducting oh, the yeah. test yeah that is mm -hmm. the main Uh, we would be having 30 days a role so uh, I, i can attend in the next month itself june 10 something like that but after booking it i came to know that in india only first two weeks they are having this exam i have to wait another uh, 15 days to 55 days i have to wait for my other attempt uh, but in the second attempt i used my personal resource uh, uh, the, even uh, the voucher was ice breaker the second attempt i know uh, i think i can do so, it so your organization did provide you another voucher no uh, oh. okay so you invested by yourself yes sir that's nice uh, i didn't ask my organization uh, makes sense so you were confident enough that you will make it for the second time yes uh, I, uh, the second time attempt i didn't ask my organization so uh first time uh they uh, gave me this opportunity so i just thought of you uh doing it myself so second time mm -hmm. uh after doing it uh, the same thing sir so it was great uh so i i just had to wait 50 day 55 days uh, you gave me mm -hmm. a lot of guidance during that time what mistake i did how to clear it so that was very clear uh, why i failed uh, you said i have to sit for 3 hours so then initially i just thought uh, that won't make that won't, that will make very small yeah. difference right but uh, definitely that 3 hours that you mentioned to stay that is the main thing that uh, that's correct clear. i observed that when i after you first attempt when i asked you that how much time did you take to complete this entire exam then i i got to know that okay, you're, you're trying to hurry up and and rush things that's not something which we look forward to do in an expert level exam so i you can say i i guess I, i still remember we had a conversation that you you can do this you need to utilize yes. the entire eight hours just entirely. don't hurry up don't think that you are missing out on time take take and then we we try to think through that how much time can be dedicated for the amount of tasks and questions you you usually would get and that that helps you to re-strategize how your second exam can actually be uh, attempted and i guess that that has helped you uh yes, you great sir. i i i i asked everything to you uh, because uh, <laughs> you, uh, even small thing like uh, how to uh, even every basic thing but you uh, calmly replied everything uh, don't worry something like that so it was very cool i just prepared my gives nice, a nice great sir. great feeling to me for someone or one of my student Uh, achieve the certification because as of now till date this is the most difficult uh, expert level certification cisco has on their panel and uh, when i see someone crack it on their second attempt because i personally took four attempts to pass it and when i see someone crack it on the second attempt it gives me a sense of feeling that okay we are on the right track and uh, the content that i'm trying to deliver in my training as well as uh, with my one to one mentorship sessions on the telegram channels with the lab access that um, is on the right track and it can help individuals achieve their dreams 
this is no less than a dream to achieve the most difficult certification on the planet um, in this Cisco sports portfolio. So yeah, that that exactly is what keeps us going. And I'm so happy to see yes. you uh, achieve the dream. And I wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. Anything uh, you would like to mention for other participants who are preparing for their uh, exams, what, what would you suggest uh, to focus? I say, uh, I mean, uh, everyone that I met, uh, they said I have to fail my first attempt and do the second attempt. So, so that is not the uh, case in this. You, you have to sit for eight hours. So, luckily during my attempt, no one came. So I just I was the only person in the exam hall. So I was very calm. So I I just uh, went and sit there. Totally, uh, I was into it. So I didn't waste any time any time on it. I I just uh, did. Uh, Eight hours totally, uh, but uh, this That's time right. in second attempt, I completed, I finished the lap much sooner because of this. Uh, first off, that is the main part here. I have to be very calm and uh, understand how the environment is. The, the keyboard also this time, the keyboard and mouse, they changed it to some, some <laughs> new format this time. So I will say uh, for the aspirants, they have to be calm. Uh, they, they just don't want to hurry up things. Uh, because Sometimes we know the everything. frustration also kicks you that okay if if you're not able to uh, understand maybe first five questions then you just think that okay I'm not able to do that and then you yes. lose focus and then you're like okay so what's next what's next what's next yes. that is also a not a not a good approach to go for if if you are not understanding five to questions ten questions well think for your next attempt also if you if you get frustrated you will not remember anything and yes. you will not have a proper path. Uh, where you missed out on your previous attempt. So going through that exam with with proper clarity for every single task and every single question uh, with a different, with a new mindset, without thinking of how your previous questions and how your previous task has yes. been, yes. that gives you uh, a good path to identify what this exam is all about. And yes. then that kind of helps you to prepare better for your next attempt, even if you don't make it in your first one. That's a nice, that's a nice advice. Yeah. I strongly recommend sitting for the entire training, for the entire lab exam duration and uh, don't try to rush things up. Wait. That is the main aim. Uh, the remaining things, I think uh, we can uh, depend on Pinet Labs. So they just... <laughs> Thank you. They, they help in every part. Exam-wise, this is the only thing that we have to, the eight hours, that is the only advice that we'll be giving. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anand, for your great feedback and uh, i appreciate you uh, coming online and sharing this particular feedback with us so that other participants would also get confidence for attempting the exam let's see how that goes up and i wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors and look forward to host you for uh, some other training uh, for some other technology let's yes. see how it goes up thank you so much and all thank the best so take care thank you bye-bye